So the Chinese typically say that it looks like a kidney shape. It's just a nice rounded kind of an oval and it comes in in the center. And it looks very similar to a real Lingzi mushroom where they have these beautiful flared sort of edges, but they're very smooth and round and fluid. Lingzi, also known as reishi in Japanese, is a real mushroom with a long history of use in Chinese medicine. These mushrooms are not typically eaten as food, but they are commonly used to create herbal teas, tinctures, and extracts, often called the mushroom of immortality for its health benefits. I'm actually pretty sure I take supplements that have Ling Z in it. I get like the mushroom coffee, you know what I'm talking about? With the help of Chris Mason, co-owner and jade jewelry designer for the leading supplier of natural jadeite jade in the US, Mason K Jade, we're going to take a look at Ling Z mushroom carvings in jadeite jade. Mushrooms in general have been coveted for centuries. They're used in foods and for medicinal purposes. As you've said, you know, most many of us who take supplements probably are taking many kinds of mushrooms. But the mushroom itself is considered a symbol of immortality. It's a divine plant, especially the Lingzi mushroom. The Lingzi mushroom in the wild is considered to be extremely rare because you can have 10,000 trees of the type that can cultivate Lingzi mushroom growth and allegedly only two or three of those trees will actually have Lingzi's growing at the base of them. A lot of people will refer to Lingzi as Ruyi, and that is not incorrect, though it should be noted that Lingzi and Ruyi are not the same thing. Ruyi is not a mushroom and the Ruyi was a ceremonial scepter that was used and represents the Buddha and his teachings. And the scepter represents good fortune. It's a scepter, a ceremonial scepter of authority as well. But at the top of this beautiful scepter is the Alingzi mushroom is represented um, in many of them, along with sometimes the carvings include flora and fauna and all that type of thing. But often at the top of a Ruyi is a Lingzi mushroom. So there, te- there can be some um, confusion and there are carvings that show the Lingzi with the stem as well and that's much more representative of the Ruyi, the scepter. This is a carving of a Lingzi mushroom and we refer to this color as moss in snow. So moss and snow means that there is a nice even white base, white jadeite base, really pure and white and then with a very very vivid special special spotting, streaking, a very, very strong, bright green jade. As if you stumbled upon pure white snow with just a little bright green moss peeking through. This is a comparison of two green jade Lingzi carvings. The one on the left is a light green with bright apple accents. The one on the right is a vivid, saturated green and has the carving of a bat on top of it. Lingzi has a a flow to it. There's a fluidity to the carving. And I have found that the Lingzi, when it's paired with another symbol, one of the strongest symbols is the bat symbol. When seen together, it symbolizes happiness. It's believed that when the two are seen together and happiness arrives, your heart may be filled with inspiration. That one's got a rooster, which of course is one of the Chinese zodiac symbols. And that's paired with what looks like more like a Lingzi, I mean, a, a Ruyi, where it has the stem. So it is a Lingzi mushroom, but it has that stem that's more similar to a Ruyi. For the most part, if they can, when they're cutting jade, if they can keep jade smooth, they will keep it smooth. Carvings are created because they are carving away impurities to get to the, the best part of the jade. So that's. That explains that. Why that? Why would they even carve jade? Well, we do want the beautiful art symbols, but we also want to carve away any impurities, any iron staining if we can, any fractures, that type of thing. When shopping for a jade mushroom carving, it's important to shop with a seller that you trust. Make sure that you choose a seller that offers a guarantee that the jade is natural, meaning untreated. Jade always looks better in your hand and on your skin and on any foot. It's hard to capture in photography. So everything from us is certified natural. We check it all and we guarantee that to you. If you're buying somewhere else, just make sure that there's a legitimate certificate involved. There is a lot of treated jade on the market. Unfortunately, we know because we do testing for the jewelry industry and for the public. So we see pieces come in 
every day. And there are some heartbreaking pieces. We feel terrible. Um, just be careful out there. Jade can be treated. It's, it's going to be, they want to soak it in acid and they bleach out all the impurities and they might paint on a little dye and then they're so, going to submerge it in a polymer or resin and into centrifuge and that will impregnate into any fissures and any holes and cracks and anything that the acid has created and it fills it all in and it makes it look like a beautiful piece of jade. But it is compromised. It doesn't have the same characteristics as natural jadeite jade. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what jade symbolism you want to learn more about.